I'm uh, here today on Journey to the Cure. I'm Christine Alarcon, a Public Health Coordinator at the Hepatitis B Foundation. And today joining me is the President and Co-Founder of the Hepatitis B Foundation, Tim Block. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you today? Very well, thank you. Thank you for doing this. Yeah, and of course. Thank you for listening. Yeah. So we're just going to start off um, with some basics of Hepatitis B. What is Hepatitis B? Hepatitis B is a virus. It's a small virus and it's um, passed from people to people and it's, uh, it's associated with uh, causing liver diseases. That's why it's called hepatitis. Hepatocytes are the mm -hmm. cells in the liver that make up the liver or perform the liver's function. And when they become inf inflamed, it's called a hepatitis. So hepatitis virus, hepatitis B virus, infects the liver, causes liver diseases, and as you know, liver cancer, and liver cirrhosis. Okay, that's a great answer, very comprehensive. So why did you start out the Hepatitis B Foundation and the Baruch Blumberg Institute? We started the Hepatitis B Foundation 27 years ago. It was started by <coughs> my wife, Joan Block, mm -hmm. and Jan and Paul Witte. Uh, we were all from this area where we're sitting now, Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Our town was called New Hope, Pennsylvania, appropriately <laughs> enough. We started it because, uh, because uh, 27 years ago, uh, when we learned of someone close to us, now, now you now know, we've told it's my wife, Joan, who had chronic hepatitis B, it was the dark ages for hepatitis B. Mm -hmm. uh, there was uh, no treatment, there was a vaccine. The virus had been discovered by Baruch Blumberg, called Barry Blumberg, uh, someone who, who um, came to work with us later, and I, well, I went to work with him, and then he ultimately came <laughs> here. Um, and uh, there was a vaccine, way to prevent the infection, thanks to Dr. Blumberg. Um, but there was no treatment and certainly no cure. <clears throat> so we wanted to form an organization that would be dedicated to discovery of a cure. And then what we found was, obviously, in the long path, towards uh, cure work or cure research, there were many, many people, most people, you know there, you, there are 250 to 300 million people in the world who mm -hmm. have hepatitis B in them, chronic disease, can't get right. it out of them. Um, most of those people had nowhere to go. So, so what we found was uh, our first work for the Hepatitis B Foundation was to be an organization that was there for people with hepatitis B, to tell them about the, uh, the, the virus, to tell them what options there are, and to, and to try to link them to care. Mm -hmm. That's why we started the Hepatitis B Foundation. There was no such organization then, and there still isn't. There's still, to my knowledge, no organization in this country dedicated solely to hepatitis B and really for um, people access. I don't want to say right. patients, because people who have hepatitis B don't like to think of them as patients, mm -hmm. they're people. So, right. so for people affected by hepatitis B, there's no organization dedicated solely to them, mm -hmm. except us. Yeah. <laughs> um, so in a few words, can you sum up what the mission is of the Hep B Foundation? Yes, I can. <laughs> the, the Hepatitis B Foundation is dedicated to improving the lives of those who are affected by hepatitis B. And we do that by looking for a cure, mm -hmm. and that's done through our research institute. Right. That's why we created the Blumberg Institute, and, and, and outreach and advocacy, what I call in-reach, being there for people with hepatitis B through the Hepatitis B Foundation. 